it can seem really intimidating to make your own candy. Thermometers are involved, tempering chocolate, but it's really simple and I'm gonna show you how to make some delicious candy using things that are probably laying in your pantry. I'm making soft, chewy caramels covered in chocolate and rolled in nuts. It's the perfect movie treat. To start, I'm going to measure out my ingredients and I have white sugar, brown sugar, cream, and a little bit of salt. That's it. So first, I'm gonna measure out a cup of white sugar and a cup of brown sugar. I love this recipe because I'm using brown sugar as well as white sugar. The brown sugar gives it the sort of deep, rich maple leaf flavor that is so good. So right into the pot it goes. And now I'm just gonna pack my brown sugar. Just by pressing it down lightly, and you don't need it to be a hockey puck, you just want it to really condense into the cup. Okay, so a little more to top it off. That looks good. In it goes. And now I'm gonna add my salt, and I'm using a really mild, really lovely sea salt. And salt and caramel are just kind of meant to be together. The saltiness really offsets the super sweetness of the caramel, so I love adding a little bit of salt. So now I'm gonna add my cream, and this is what gives the caramels their lovely chewy texture. So that's one and a half cups. And this is to make a really thick, moldable caramel. This isn't for a caramel sauce or anything that I want to be runny. I want it really nice and thick. Okay, I'm gonna give this a stir, and then I'm gonna pop it on the stove. I'm going to cook my caramel up to 245 degrees Fahrenheit, which sounds really, really hot. But in the world of candy making, it's really not that high. This is gonna be at a softball stage, which means it's gonna be really melty and moldable, and you can roll it in your hands. Toffee, for instance, is really brittle because it's cooked to a much higher heat, about 300 degrees. So that's called a hard crack because it cracks. And in the world of candy making, your thermometer is your best friend. You need to be pretty exact when it comes to the temperature of your caramel because you want it to be of a certain consistency and texture. So it even has a handy little descriptions right here. So it says softball, hardball, soft crack, hard crack. So depending on what kind of candy you wanna make, it will help you. And you wanna make sure that it doesn't touch the bottom of the pan, that it's just submerged into the liquid. This way it gives you a really accurate reading. So in it goes. My caramel is up to 245 degrees, so I'm gonna turn it off the heat, take out the thermometer, and I'm going to add my vanilla. So I turned it off the heat because vanilla burns pretty easily, so I don't need that extra flame when I'm adding this. And I like a lot of vanilla, so two teaspoons. I'm gonna give it a quick stir just to integrate it. And make sure to use a heat safe spatula, you don't want anything to melt. And that looks really great. I'm now gonna pour it into a buttered pan and I'm just gonna let it come to room temperature. If you wanna make this go a little bit faster, you can definitely stick it in the fridge, but don't let it get too cold because we're gonna be rolling them into balls later. Well, this looks great. I'm going to let it cool and then get to making candy. My caramel is room temperature, so it's ready to get turned into little balls about the size of a marble. To start, I'm gonna grab my spoon. This is gonna help me scoop out my caramel. And this is very sticky stuff, so I'm gonna spray this with a little bit of canola oil just to make sure it doesn't get stuck. Okay, that's about right. So you can see, really tacky really chewy. I'm just gonna roll it in here, and if you find it at all sticky, just put a little bit of oil on your hands, but because we put it in a buttered pan, it shouldn't be a problem. Well, that's a perfect bite. I'm just gonna keep going and portion out the rest. Well, my caramels look ready to go, so I'm gonna pop them in the fridge to chill because I'm going to put them in warm chocolate later. 
have my homemade movie candies ready to go, so I'm going to finish them up with some melted chocolate. And what you see here is I melted my chocolate using a double boiler, or a bain marie, and it's really simple. I just make one at home. I use a glass bowl and I put it on top of a pot that's filled with boiling water and I let the steam do the work. So as you can see, beautiful and steamy, and the gentle heat from the steam melts the chocolate really slowly and gently so you don't get any discoloration. My chocolate looks beautiful, so let's get dipping. I'm using a fork to dip my caramels today, and the reason why is lots of drainage. So once I put them in the chocolate and get them evenly coated, I'm going to pop them into the nuts. And I have toasted almond and toasted pecan. You can use any nut you like. This is the fun part. Make it your own, choose flavors that you love. So let's grab one. Another fun idea is you can dip it in chocolate and then just sprinkle it with nuts so it just gets a little bit of that crunch on top. Or, if you're not really into nuts, just plain chocolate. Well, all I have to do is pop my homemade candy into the fridge to chill until I want to have a bite. And this definitely is not a guilt-free treat, but it's movie night, so I have to enjoy myself.